So recently I've been trying out quite a few direct-to-consumer golf clubs and today I am bringing some Scottish golf clubs back home to Scotland. I've brought them from my home to Scotland. So these are Cali golf clubs and as you can see we have a black towel bag, we have a black towel head covers and black towel golf clubs. They actually look really cool but I've not hit these yet. Literally brought them straight to the golf course. Now the challenge is I'm on the Burnside course here at Carnoustie, the infamous difficult Carnoustie. Never played this course but I'm assuming it's tough. And let's see if we can break par over nine holes using these clubs. We're also going to be heading back to the studio and getting some data. I've also not looked at the price of these clubs, but I hear through the Scottish grapevine, although there's no grapevines in Scotland, is there? It's too cold, I think, isn't it? I've heard echoed in the whiskey barrels that they're actually pretty cheap. First hole here, 319 yards, out of bounds right. Oh, I don't know, do we go straight into the driver, do we think? Yeah, why not? 10.5, I think the stiff shafts here and everything is basically Cali. So Cali branded shaft, Cali branded grip, and obviously Cali branded club head. What a lot of these brands tend to do is like put more of a well-branded shaft in there and a well-branded grip, but this is all cali owned. Oh, right, oh, hello. Uh, that sit down we've just had for two hours is reverberating through my spine. <laughs> so 10.5, wind's hard off the left, bunkers down to the right. I think I'm just gonna hit it kind of over these guys' heads pretty much, I think. I'm not gonna lie, that is the best drive I've hit today. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, my review of the Cali clubs was overwhelmingly positive. 60 yards are not, not bad into the wind. Listen, any club generally will feel good out the middle, so let's reserve judgment just for now. So get down into those comments, let me know what you think about the look of these, let me know what you think I'm gonna shoot. But we'll just explain a little bit on the course about where these clubs come from, the story behind them a little bit, and of course, if they're yeah, actually any good. So 56 degree here, there's no, bounce number on these wedges. Look quite high though. Well, good for distance. It's a shame I pulled it that much. Ah, decent strike. Right, okay, well, I've got to be honest, the look of that putter is like a, oh, what was it called, a yes. Oh, it'll come to me. It's very similar to one Matt Fitzpatrick used to use. And I actually really like the look of that. Unfortunately, the grip is on... Um... <laughs> Not straight. <laughs> that's basically where... That's where the club face would be if I, uh, if I gripped it straight. So, that's not ideal. Nice feeling grip, though. So, left to right... <laughs> imagine, imagine me putting this grip on like that with all my clubs. <laughs> oh dear, I, yeah, I really like the look of that. I think, I don't know how many putter options they offer as far as shapes. That's just like a really classic looking blade. Nothing too fancy about it, but... Par, to begin with, I don't know yet how much all of this costs and, and I think I've literally got here every Cali club ever made. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, now oh, 50 over exaggerated <laughs> as the train goes one way my train of a golf shot will go the other oh what a drive 456 yards this hole and that is going to be cut right down to size struck two great shots there oh look at, oh, look at that look at that team mark oh <laughs> So Cali, they're a Scottish company with a Scottish owner and the design is apparently inspired by the Scottish landscape, which if you look at these, apparently, I don't know, permanent night. <laughs> Maybe these clubs are inspired by December in Scotland, just really dark all the time. However, it is nice because this is a company which has very much got a, an individual story. You know, it's not like a big multinational. I always like to give the smaller companies a bit of a go, a bit of a try. So far, so good. <laughs> 158. That drive's gone like 300 yards into wind. I'm using a different ball there. I'm testing out a Strixon ball. So when I'm back in the studio, I'll be on my usual vice. That was uh, impressive. I'm guessing that these clubs are aimed at higher handicappers. There is a 
a whopping offset in this iron. I don't know if it's a hollow headed construction. Yeah, I mean, it's got a drill hole in the toe, so I'm guessing it's a hollow headed construction. Don't know the lofts or anything like that. I'm just gonna try and just hold it into the breeze a little bit. I tell you what, not bad, it is. It's massive again. I'm gonna put it down to my swing my big powerful swing. <laughs> so I think this calls for a, a classic, I, I'll tell you what I'll do. Little hybrid, little hybrid chip and run. I'm actually a big fan of how the whole ensemble looks. Not keen on these grips, they're quite thin. Wow. These clubs just go so far. I'm really gutted about the grip because I think the putter looks really nice. Oh, I've smashed it. Smashed it. Pushed it. 3 put double. Thanks for coming, everybody. Well, I mean, that was, a, that was a bit annoying. I think with that putter, I'm just gonna have to go a little bit more instinctual with the grip. 171 in here. Ah, that kind of last shot weirded me out. I'm kind of thinking a seven iron, maybe. I'd be feeling probably a little six, but after that last approach in, might be the one. There's no markings on these shafts, like a rifle shaft. So there's no steps in it. Yeah, I don't know what brand they are, but straight at it, come on. Let's get a birdie. Come on, wind, nudge it. Yeah, just left fringe. Sound good, don't they? I'm gonna give the push a chance to redeem itself here. Actually, no, I should test out the wedge, shouldn't I, really? Gotta come over a hump. And it's kind of on. Guys, who unwrapped the 60? I can't be putting up with this kind of shoddiness, okay? It's this attention to detail that's gonna get us, I don't know, um, <laughs> I don't know. Start that sentence without an end in sight. I, mean, I don't know, or whatever. Right, 60 degree over this hump. I'm gonna chip it on the green, let it roll down. Wedges look good as well. I'm, I wanna know what bounces on them, but. Well, yeah, a bit better. Maybe just a bit ahead. That'll do. That'll do. Okay, we're gonna go back to the studio. We're gonna get some numbers on these irons. I'm gonna play the next three, four holes just quick. I'm interested to see the numbers these give compared to a major brand. I'll try and find an iron which has a similar profile. And of course, that driver. <laughs> I am legitimately absolutely vibing with this driver right now. <laughs> so first up in the studio, we're gonna be testing out the wedges, the irons, and then the driver. Gonna be doing a few comparisons, and the first one up is the wedge. Now we've got the 56 degree wedge here. I'm gonna be testing that out against the TaylorMade Mill Grind 2, which has a nice rusty face. And these wedges are gonna set you back 199 pounds for a set of three which represents decent value. So I've got a 100 yard shot here, which is a full 56 for me. So let's just check out spin rates, how it feels. Using a Pro V1 here as well. The actual shaft in here, I'll have to check the weight or, oh, hello, I'll do, or throw the weight up. It feels very, very light in the shaft and heavy in the head. And that's something I personally don't mind. I quite like the feeling of that. It does feel like it's very fast through impact. So let's have a comparison of the numbers between these two wedges. As mentioned, both 56 degrees, and you can see there's a huge disparity as far as spin numbers go. So I've rounded it down to the four best strikes, and that kind of fits on the page quite nicely as well. So average backspin there for the Cali, 7,934. And for the TaylorMade Mill Grind 2, I mean, there's quite a big difference here. So 11,499 revs. And RPM is the amount of revolutions per minute that that ball will make back towards the golfer. The more backspin you have, the more it's gonna stop when it lands and also maybe rip back. I have to say feel-wise as well, 
the mill grind two just felt a little bit better as I struck it. So with this wedge, it, I mean, I like it. I'm not 100% keen on the face, how it seems to be coming off the wedge, but for 199 quid for three, that still represents quite good value. Bear in mind, for a new tailor-made wedge, you're gonna be paying 120, 130 pounds. So that's always something to weigh up, is that cost versus performance element. And I have to say, performance-wise, that premium brand does outperform Cali in this instance. So onto the irons, again, they have this same finish. So black head, black shaft, black grip, which of course appeals to me. And it does really appeal to me. I love the look of it. For a full set, four to pitching wedge, you're gonna be looking at 419 pounds. Translate that into dollars. And certainly on the course, these were pretty impressive. I think the way they look behind the ball is really nice. There's a big offset there. It's not something which I personally like to see, but if you do struggle with that shot out to the right-hand side, these could be really good. Also on the course, I did feel that they were quite forgiving. I've got the range target out here to 170 yards. I normally fly my Mizuno 8-iron 165. I'm going to throw up the lofts here of these Cali irons because I was getting some really good distance on the course with these. So these irons have a really thin club face, 1.7 millimeters, and it's all about getting that ball speed up, that kind of trampoline effect. And when you have a look at these irons, they do bear some similarity to a few others out there. They look simple, and I think these are maybe the standout performers for me. Switch on to the five iron going for 200 yards on this one. And these irons are following a very similar trend to a lot, a lot of manufacturers are doing. It's a low lofted, high launching, low spinning, Thing. <laughs> and for most handicapped golfers, that's not a bad thing. The offset on the long grinds gets <laughs> pronounced, shall we say. So onto the driver. So this is at 10.5 degrees. If you want to get one of these new, it's 199 pounds. So it's not cheap, cheap. I mean, it's cheap in comparison to some of the major brands, but you know, you could pick up a really good secondhand driver for that type of money. I think it looks really nice behind the ball. It's very simple. I think they've got the branding really good on these drivers, to be honest. And what Cali say, this has variable face thickness, which kind of increases ball speeds on off center strike, so they say. There's a weight here also that's been pushed further back in the head, which helps improve MOI and forgiveness. These are things you would have heard before. It's not adjustable. It has a fixed neck and hosel. Got us in a stiff shaft, but it's obviously not gonna be tuned for my swing. However, on the course, I hit some absolute bombs with this. The one thing which <laughs> it is, as that one flies down towards your target, is really light. It feels, it feels like I'd be able to go out, swing nice and easy, and produce some decent drives. So my ball speed to begin with was a little bit lower, so like 20 miles an hour away from where it finished, but I was being a little bit soft, a little bit gentle with it. What was really impressive, if you have a look at the backspin numbers on those first three, but with a driver, what you want is the spin, if you can get it around 2000 or just under with a good launch angle, what you get is a high launch, low spin, so it's gonna carry a long way, and then when it lands, it's gonna keep bounding down the fairway. If the spin rises, then it might launch quite high, but then it's gonna die out the sky and stop quick. So those first three shots, two, seven, two, four, two, four in backspin. And as I started to increase the speed, I struck a couple out of the heel and the toe, which rev that backspin up over 3000, but actually it's kept very consistent. On average there, over those 11 shots, 2,663. Add into that the fact that the ball speed kept getting quicker and quicker and quicker. And my average carry there was 292 with an average total distance of 313 yards. So from the other testing I've done with other drivers, for a 10 and a half degree driver with just a plain stiff shaft, nothing fancy or upmarket, that is performing brilliantly. That is very, very, very good. I think the wedges are okay, the irons very good, and then that driver, really good fantastic actually i mean there are obviously some issues there you're not gonna be able to get fit for it so you're just gonna have to trust it as it comes but for a small company who were just setting out on this journey i have to say overall really good
Now this, 500 and 362 yards. Can't, I don't actually know where the hole is. Is it right to the left, do you think? I don't know. But I'll hit a, uh, I'll hit one of the three woods. I'm not, I'm not hit the three wood yet. So let's have a go with that. This guy looks amazing. As the sun comes out and the shadows get long. What a time to be alive. came out a bit low. <laughs> oh, that's in the trees. <laughs> oh, that came out uh, lower than intended, left than intended, all round. That's it, you know, just not intended. not intended. Cut, won't make the cut that. Seventh hole never happened here at the Burnside. Uh, this is just a kind of a roping hook, kind of around there, 142. It's almost like a, a wedge. Those guys are, Kind of over on that T there. A full confidence in my ability, but I'm gonna get ready for a quick shout just in case. Oh, fire! <laughs> Absolutely nowhere near them. <laughs> Absolutely nowhere near them. Yeah, what happens with your voice then? Filming it all day, and I think my voice has just reached that point of turning back into a 13 year old boy. play a Scottish chip and run a little bit more often. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. I was quite happy with that shot, actually. I was quite surprised. Oh, I just need to trust my feel a little bit more. All right, it's a good up and down. I think I'm two over, bogey, bogey birdie, and a double. Some other things about these clubs, actually, and these are inconsequential details, I suppose, but the same way, same way, same time. I actually really like the head covers, They're like a synth leather. And I love the overall look. I mean, they do offer these irons in like a chrome version as well, but like being all murdered out is, yeah, very much my cup of tea. Bag is all right. You can kind of feel it's it's cheap, but I'm guessing that's what Cali's really going for. We're going to get back into the studio after the ninth, where I'm going to actually have a look at the prices. I'm going to be interested to see, especially the irons, especially the driver. The fair one, the hybrids, I'm not really giving a great shake on the golf course, but they're not really going to be suited for me that much. And of course, we're going to have a think about who these are best suited for. 424 yard par four. This Burnside isn't a slouch, by the way, no. course wise. I was expecting to come out and have like a, just a friendly little knock, but no sir. This is some proper golf. I'm going to give the uh, fairway wood another chance here. Eh? Oh, that took off, didn't it? Might be a bit left though. Ah, it's all right. It was just rough down there. That was a nice strike. It felt good. Flight is, um, flight is low, very low. 126 yards straight down the wind. Now, I am wondering if I can get a 56 degree, a wedge I have yet to hit. That got iron off for you. <laughs> Look at that. That went absolutely stratospheric. It was on a good line, actually. Hope it's ran out. Yeah, the wedges are just a bit, just a bit hard. Just a bit firm. And again, I don't know if that's because of the ball I'm using. It's slightly different than what I'm used to, but again, it all depends on what the price is. Because if you're not paying a premium for a wedge, then something will have to give. Well, I'll say something I'll have to give, you know, there's no reason why they can't produce a really good wedge for a cheap price. What was the wedge we tested a while ago here on the course? Didn't like it out of bunkers. Sub 70. Sub 70. It's just for you, that. I know you wanted to see it go in. I know you were desperate for someone to go in off the green. <sighs> Such good wedges. Final hole and a birdie to shoot level par. The hole is called Grog, and I'm feeling actually pretty grog right now. 161 downwind. Ah man, what's it to the front? This hole is like perched up on like a massive hill. 149 to clear the edge of it. It's gotta be a wedge, I think. It's gotta be a wedge. Someone's left their T here in front of a very suspicious looking divot, but. We'll use it. Go on, travel. Oh, 
<laughs> that, uh, that's not my tee. I pitch like very front of the green. It's actually rolled out. Not too bad, maybe about 12, 15 foot, I think. Thank you. Come on, let's finish with the birdie. Let's get back to level. That'd be nice. Oh, turn. <sighs> Why did it turn? I feel this yellow flag is mocking me with its jolliness. One over par. Right guys, just want to say huge thank you for watching. Massive thank you to Carnoustie for having us down. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Get down to those comments below. And we'll see you next time.